No, 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 no. <sighs> Isaiah. Oh. All right, hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just sharing with you guys my favorite items. So just like every other favorites video you see on the tube, these are just items that I have really just been loving. I'm glad I purchased them. I've been wearing them a lot. I've been using them a lot. Anyways, I'm not going to start rambling because I can do that. Let's just get right into the video. So I'm going to start with makeup first, you guys. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is this foundation. I don't think I've talked about it yet on my channel, but I feel like not enough people know about this foundation. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin self-refreshing foundation. It's all free. Once I got this foundation, I've been using it nonstop. And I got it when the last Sephora VIB sale was going on and I've rarely used any other foundation than this. It gives a beautiful finish. It's not quite a matte finish. It's more of a satin finish um, in my opinion. I'm an oily girl and I don't always like matte finish foundation sometimes they can be a little bit too drying and also I don't necessarily like uh what you call full coverage foundations either I do have one full coverage foundation that's super full and that's my Huda Beauty foundation that I absolutely love but on a day-to-day -day type of regular video pictures that you see me in I've been wearing this foundation nine times out of ten on my channel and my videos because it's just a beautiful foundation so I highly recommend it I do have the color 420 bronze the only negative I have with this foundation is that it doesn't hold up very long my aunt and I were talking about how beautiful it is how it I still think it's worth the $42 that I spent on it but it like gives me a good four hours and then after that I'm kind of oily I don't know I don't know maybe if it's the um, primer I'm using underneath or I need a different kind of primer if you have this foundation and you are oily let me know what kind of primer you use I'm, I want to switch it up to see what works best but this has been my number one foundation for a hot minute now so the next product is a product that I bought um, a few months back as well that when I got it I absolutely hated it and it is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder that's a long that's that's too many words y'all it don't make no sense anyway so I got this powder and when I tried it I was like I want my money back but as of lately, I've been using it with this like $3 e.l.f. brush. This is the concealer brush from e.l.f. From e.l.f. <laughs> from e.l.f. Just popping it underneath my eyes to kind of brighten my eyes a bit. And I have been loving it. It doesn't crease on me. It, it holds very well. It's just an overall very beautiful finishing powder. And it does give that airbrush kind of look. I do still use my Laura Mercier underneath my eyes, but I pop this on top and it worked. I don't know what I was doing in the beginning when I first got this powder, but whatever I was doing, I'm glad I stopped doing it and tried it again because I think it's totally worth the money. I do have it in the color two medium just for shade reference. Um, but yeah, love this Charlotte Tilbury powder. The next product I'm gonna talk about is one of my absolute favorite concealers. It, it is a Pat McGrath concealer. I have mine in color M17. Now I'm not 100% sure if this is like my best color, but I had to order online when everything was closed down and I have been using this concealer nonstop. So with every foundation that I've been wearing, whether it's my Shiseido, my Huda, my Wet n Wild foundation, cause those I would say are my top three right now now um, I pair this with every foundation so I do have little fine lines underneath my eyes got a little creases under there but this does a really great job with not making them so obvious I think this is like $32 and I think it's definitely worth that you don't need a lot of it either and I kind of use mine to like conceal and brighten at the same time it also doesn't give like that super matte finish either to me it's definitely more of a satin and skin like type of finish but it all depends on how much you're putting on to highly recommend this concealer I think she did a really good job with this one so next you guys I have these Fenty lip what are these called slip shines <laughs> right here now I will say I bought three of these and I only like one 
so far. I don't remember the darker one, which one that's called. I have Makeout Break and then I have Quartz Candy. And Quartz Candy is my favorite. I love this. So what's crazy is that it's just a clear lip gloss, but it has like a tiny hint of like sparkle in it. And I just think this just makes my lips look so good. I like wearing it by itself. I'm not wearing it today, but sometimes I'll put like a tiny bit of like a lip pencil underneath. This is one of my favorite lip pencils. This is the LA Girl lip pencil in sugar and spice. I'm wearing that right now with a different gloss over it, but I like just popping this a little bit on my lips just to give it a tiny bit of color and then putting this on top or wearing this um, quartz candy by itself. It feels good on the lips. It's great for summer. Love the quartz candy. I'm not too thrilled about the other one, like the makeout break, just because the shade, I'm not in love with the shade, but I also, to be honest, I haven't given it like a fair chance. I haven't really paired it with anything or or try to love it so I probably will end up loving it it's just that I've been going for what is on my hand I've really been reaching for this quartz candy like all month long really since I've gotten it so next I'm gonna move to skincare I mentioned this line in my like night night <laughs> I can't talk in my nightly routine video that I did this is the guidance to glow cleanser and the two serums I believe these well mainly these two products have really changed my skin I have been suffering from so like breakout after breakout I felt like I was in high school Ugh, it was just so bad and I know it came from just hormones and stress and you know everything that was going on but like for months probably from the end of March to about May um, I just couldn't control it. I could not control my breakout. It wasn't until I got these products that I really noticed a change in my skin. So this one is the Copper Complex Peptide. This one is mainly focusing on hydration. And then the other one that really calmed my skin, calmed my breakouts down, got everything under control, the redness, the pimples, like all that kind of stuff is the Phyto Calming Serum. I have used these every single day. They aren't cheap <laughs> but i think they're well worth the money fine with the price especially if i love it especially if it's actually doing what it says it's supposed to be doing then i will just keep buying it i'm all about products that say if it's supposed to do this and it's doing this then i'm good with that and i also really like the cleanser the cleanser is a gentle cleanser um i use it mainly in the morning and if i'm doing like a heavier treatment at night i've really learned from finia to incorporate a lot more hydration into my skincare. A lot of times with oily skin like I have, um, large pores, oily skin, combo skin, we are doing nothing but stripping our skin and you know, also adding a lot of acids in our skincare routine. And I've tried my best to like really, really take out a lot of that stuff and um i think it's working for me so yeah so been loving this as far as skincare goes for the month so another product i've really been loving has been the peter thomas roth therapeutic sulfur mask it's really great for acne and exfoliating um dead skin cells and absorbing excess oil it does have 10 percent sulfur in it but it's an acne treatment and i've used this like non-stop so in the beginning when i was really breaking out i was using this like twice a week and then now since everything's kind of calmed down a bit i say i'm using it once a week my skin feels really nice after it it doesn't feel stripped or anything so it does have kaolin bentonite clay in it and of course it does have sulfur it does say use two to three times a week i've been really into masks lately as well they're just really calming you know at night times it helps me to just calm down focus on my skincare focus on what i'm doing at the moment just relax for a bit because that's what aids in you know breakouts too is just a lot of stress so another favorite for july i guess i'm gonna put this under skincare but it's this mask here you guys i just pop it in the refrigerator i put it both ways on my face um one is like this plasticky side with the balls and the other is a very soft side i just got this from ulta when i ran out of like my eye mask thingies or whatever I got it for like I think it was eight or ten dollars something like that but I was so tired of buying the like under eye like mask 
strip thingies, you know, that are supposed to help with all these claims that they really don't do anything. And I was really just looking for something that helped with puffiness, especially in the morning before I start recording and just makes me look a little bit more awake, which I desperately need like all the time. So I think this is such a great buy. It definitely saves me some money as well and not buying all those expensive under eye treatments, which how much are they really doing in the first place? Cause I don't think they're doing that much. All right, you guys, so next is something I'm like super excited about and I will be adding these to another video. I do plan on doing a um, black only brands that I have slowly been discovering. I'm hoping to get that video out in August, but I've kind of been taking my time with finding some brands that I really love, not just, you know, what people are just regurgitating. One of the brands that I found that I'm just really excited to share with you guys, I've shared it on my Instagram as well, are these candles here from Southern Elegance. So the first batch that I bought were these like, I can't remember what these are called, but like these like little glasses, glass, they remind me of like a drink glass. I have the Honeysuckle Jasmine in this size, and then I also had High Cotton in this size as well, and I love them that much. I went and bought a mason jar size two, um, but I switched it up. I have the Citrus and Sugar, and I got the High Cotton again because it's probably my favorite scent. These are candles, they are black owned, and it just smells so good. I can keep these candles lit in my apartment all day. And I am sensitive to smell. I don't I don't wear any perfume, you guys. I don't own a bottle, like a full-size bottle of perfume. I don't own, not one. My soap in the shower is like Dove Fresh, that clean smelling soap scent. So is my deodorant. I get headaches super fast. And I was really like over Bath and Body Works candles because I could only light those candles and probably leave them on for maybe like 10 minutes and that's pushing it. They're just so strong to me. They're highly fragranced, but not in the best way either. And I was just like, I'm not buying another Bath and Body Works candle. I think there's so many others out there and I found Southern Elegance and I'm so happy. I love just how they look as well. Very simple and clean looking. The citrus and sugar is, it's kind of how you would think. It's very, um, sweet smelling, a little bit of fruit in there, but definitely sweet smelling. And of course the high cotton is like fresh linen. It is by far my favorite. I had to put these in my July favorites because I was super excited to find them. And honestly, you guys, I don't probably don't say it enough, but I've been very, very cautious, very, well, I guess more aware of where my money is going to lately and who I'm giving it to and who I'm spending it with. So love these from Southern Elegance. I will put the link down below in the description box so that you guys can check them out. And yeah, I think you will. I think you'll fall in love with them just like I did. All right, so next y'all are these jeans right here. I've been like trying to up my game on Instagram and I I have not really been wanting to buy new clothes because I'm not happy with my weight. I'm just being honest. I don't wanna buy new clothes when I don't wanna say this size and I'm not going anywhere either. I bought these, my last Zara haul and I think my only Zara haul that I did some months back. I bought these jeans and I have been loving them. So if you see me with jeans on on Instagram, nine times out of 10, I'm wearing these. I don't think they're selling these anymore, but these are one of their like versions of the mom jeans. They have a little, rip right here and you can fold up the leg and they are high-waisted as well and I love the wash on them. They just kind of suck me in. They give me a little bit of waist, you know, and they're high rise of course to kind of flatten out everything, especially when I wear my skims with them. I just look like, like. I'm glad I picked these up. I'm glad I took a chance on them. Um, I've washed them only a couple times because I I don't wash my jeans that often. But yeah, but yeah, they're holding up very well. And yeah, just wanted to put them in my favorites because I have been wearing these like crazy. So my last two items are, I guess, household type of items. One is gonna be this 
mouse. I'm so glad I picked this up. I have been using it nonstop since I got it at the beginning of the month. This is an ergonomic mouse for, you know, your computer. And you hold it like this, so it's just more comfortable on your hands. I do a lot of editing, of course, for videos, pictures, and all that kind of stuff, even just shopping online on my computer. And I'm at my computer all the time and I told my husband that my hand was just hurting like it started to cramp my thumb started to hurt I do have a Mac and that Mac mouse along with the keyboard they suck they're not comfortable for you it's just for the look but unfortunately for people like me I kind of am over that and I just need something that's just more comfortable that just makes my day a lot easier and so I got this mouse I got it in pink it does come in I think two other colors I think it's a baby blue and I'm I'm sure it's like a white and a silver it is wireless which makes it 10 times better but it's just comfortable you guys and it was not expensive I think this mouse was $19.99 or $24.99 for some reason those are the numbers that I have in my head I highly encourage you to get an ergonomic mouse just for your wrist your hand just the whole well-being of your whole arm since the majority of children will be home for school um I think just making sure that they're comfortable while doing their school work and that kind of thing it makes all the difference so I will link that down below and my last thing is what's right behind me right there I get a lot of questions especially on Instagram about where I got it, but that's my, my grass, my pompous grass. I just brought two of them up close so that you guys can see. I just got this one in. This is the brown or the natural color um that they call it and then this is the white and i got them from a company off of etsy called nine zen which i'll put down in the description box for you to check them out but i just love them i did i do try and be super gentle with them i did set them outside a little bit and spray them lightly with some um hairspray so they don't shed all over the place but yeah i just wanted to share these with you guys because they were such a good find i think this company is a winner just wanted to share it with you and everything else with you guys I will put everything down below in the description box for you just in case you want to check out anything or if you have any questions put them down below y'all know I'll do my best to answer you if you enjoyed this video I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed I don't know what you're waiting on I maybe you don't like me that much I don't know I'm likable I, I think I am thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video bye